Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here. Welcome back to more of the Super Mario 3D Land playthrough. We are chugging right along through the special worlds. Uh, we are now on Special World 3 and looks like to start we have a pretty athletic level here, so let's get right into it and see what exactly we're dealing with today. We're dealing with the swinging platforms. We've seen them used quite a bit in this playthrough so far. They're not really too difficult. Just, uh, just kind of, just kind of work with them. Do what you got to do and work with them. That's really all you need to do. Jump over here. Take a long swing all the way over. Let's grab that star coin too. Okay, I want to make sure you we weren't missing anything. Grab the flag. Boom. Hello. See, easy as pie. And I already saw where the last star point is, so... It's in this little section. In fact, I actually see it down there. Oops. That may have been a little... Little cause for concern, but we made it nonetheless. And see, what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna kind of, kind of jump down here. I think from here it's just a matter of kind of climbing back. That was my bad. <laughs> that was my bad. I lost my Tanuki tail because of that. I just wasn't thinking, guys. I wasn't thinking. <laughs> I wasn't really thinking there, too. I just kind of slid right off. That that Luigi traction can really kind of get you when you least expect it. Oh my god. Huh. I don't have a tail anymore, so I'm going to have to be a little more patient. And this will actually make this section, I think, a bit more difficult, too. Like, I'm going to want to probably jump before the platform stops, just so I can get moving on the next platform. And... Eep! Got it. See, that wasn't too bad. That was just really stupid, though. I don't know why I did what I did. And by the time I jumped, I knew it was too late. You can only hold yourself up with the tail for so long. And now we have rotating blocks. My favorites. Any power-ups? Nope, doesn't seem like it. Nope, nothing there. Ah! Nothing over there. Nothing to see there. Just a, just a spiny. Just a spiny chilling out, doing his spiny thing. And see, we already have the tail. But again, like... I, I feel like in this part of the game, like, even though you get a tail, like, more easily, I also feel like it's a lot easier to lose and just kind of get overconfident and cocky. Just because of the game up to this point. That's pretty much how I lost it in the last level. It's just I thought I had enough jumps, enough time to land, but I didn't. <clears throat> so yeah, I just got kind of overconfident, cocky, and it didn't work out for me. Okay, there's definitely a coin there. Let's see, even if you destroy those blocks, which you can't. <laughs> you could still wall jump up to it too, so. Again, using all the strats to get your star coins. All the star coin strats. Uh, 
And see, here I am. I'm, I'm moving fast again, which, as I've already displayed in the previous level, that could really come back to bite me. But we made it. That's another level down, folks. Let's keep moving. Let's keep moving through the levels. Doing our Luigi thing. Save complete. Okay, Tall Trunk Galaxy. <laughs> That's what it seemed like anyway. 30 seconds on the clock, so we got another one of these levels. Seems to be at least one in every single world. From the look of things, anyway. <clears throat> Where I grab that? Eh, I better get this. Oh, I can't now. Hopefully that doesn't screw us over. Down to ten seconds. Oh no, no! Not only did I miss the clock, but I also missed the freaking. Well, I died. Well, this way I can at least grab the uh, <clears throat> the stone tanuki on the way back up, and I know where all the star coins are too, so it shouldn't be too bad. And I can also grab the. Well, theoretically, I should be able to grab that. Go ahead and get this too while I'm at it. <clears throat> okay, well, let's actually pay attention here and grab what I want. Thank you. Thank you. And yeah, this will be a lot easier now, because I can actually control my jumps. I'm trying not to move too fast, though, because I know there's going to be enemies up here. But see, remember, this was a, this was a level we covered in, like, the later stages of the first, uh, the normal levels, the normal world, so. Did I actually miss that? Oh my god. <laughs> oh, jeez. Dumb, dumb, dumb. I can't believe I missed that. But yeah, this was one of the later worlds, or the later world levels, so they actually put this in Special World 3, so. We're definitely seeing, like, a lot of these, like, kind of harder levels in the early game of... Uh, the special worlds with even unique conditions on them. But yeah, I'll be right back. I'll be right back, guys. Hey, I got it! <laughs> I feel like they still should have given that to me in the last attempt, but whatever. Whatever. It's kind of funny how I had to redo that level in both the normal world and the uh, special world. That level just has redo written all over it. Okay. Um, I don't want to get rid of this. So I'll just do that. Wait, that gave me a... That actually gave me a star coin I already had. I wonder if the previous uh, thing did that to me, actually. Because, yeah, that was one I already got. Interesting. Well, hey, it's back to the dungeon for us. Back to the dark dungeon with the rolly, the rolling pins. And it seems like these guys are moving faster, so... That's how they made this level a little bit difficult. It is essentially the same level we've done before. And yeah, the faster level here does make this a little more tedious. 
Just a bit. Just a bit. Let's see. Oh, nope, nothing over there. This section. Oh, God! They changed this up a little bit. I saw that. I saw that. Nice try, I guess. <laughs> I don't know, that kind of made me laugh, how that s spins around the entire <coughs> axis here. And it almost caught me off guard, it almost just made me lose my power up there. Oh my god. This game wants me dead, this game wants Luigi dead. See, that actually makes kind of for a difficult uh, flagpole jump, especially if you don't have the Tanuki suit, so... You know, they're, they're definitely trying to make things harder, just in general. Makes me wonder if, like, what if they had, like... What if this was, like, the original game? Like, this was the normal worlds, and then the, uh... Special worlds were like almost like Kaizo like in appearance. Really makes you think. Really makes you think what could have been. Um, but yeah, we have the uh, beat blocks again, so we have to look out for those. Hey, poison mushroom. Can we even. No, we can't. Is there a reason to get up here? I don't think there is, but... Nope, I don't think so. Thank you. Thanks for the ride, brother. He's not my brother. Mario's my brother. <laughs> yeah, what if Luigi just thought that that was Mario's? Like, that was his brother the whole time. Not Mario, just a giant stone walking enemy. That'd be pretty sad, especially considering, you know, how Mario had to save him in this game. You know, after kind of thinking about it, I do kind of like just the idea of this game a little bit, where it's like, I mean, at least in the special sections, where it's like, you rescue your brother, and then the, the two bros are just kind of going through the game, just like, Hey, you know what? Now that you're free, let's just kind of, like, do this together, you know? We're the Mario Bros. We can do this. It's, it's, it's kind of nice. I, I really like it. It's, it's kind of poetic in its own little way. And, you know, it really kind of puts, like, the name in perspective, Super Mario Bros. Like, you're quite literally playing with both bros now. Okay, I'm gonna wait for this. There you go. There we go, we're already done with World 3. Aside from the uh, first two levels kind of giving me a little bit of uh, challenge, that did not take very long. So I might be able to do like maybe a little couple extra levels in S4 before we uh, close this out. But first off, we have to actually open S Airship, S3 Airship. 140 star medals required. We have almost 200. We'll have our 200th star medal here in video number 12. Oh god, the uh, the auto scroll not messing around this time. <laughs> it's like okay, you know. Speedrunners complain about auto-scrolling levels all the time, about how they're too slow. Well, let's make them fast. That's kind of what I see the game thinking right now. It's like, okay, you want fast auto-scrolls? We'll give you fast auto-scrolls. Never complain again, speedrunners. <laughs> Never complain again. Uh, what do we got? Tanookies down here. Wait, we're at the flagpole already? Again? 
What do we miss? Oh, I can't go back now, so... Well, I mean, it was a short level. I guess we might as well just do it again. Wow, that was very anticlimactic, though. No boss, just... Okay, let's do this. That may be the fastest auto-scrolling level I've ever seen. <laughs> Maybe not the fastest auto-scroll. Because even, uh... 6-5 in Yoshi's Island, as slow and annoying as that level is, when you get to the very end of that level, the auto-scroll really get, does pick up quite a bit uh, faster. Okay, well, let's actually find... Now, thankfully, I know that it's going to be in the second half of this, like, one-minute level. Honestly, it's probably more like a 45-second... Maybe not even that long. I don't know. This is really fast. <laughs> but yeah, it's probably like... Probably the... Actually, it's down here, isn't it? No? You know it is down there. I mean, it has to be. Like, I don't see where else it can be, honestly. Okay, you know what? Let's do this. Let's go to course selection. So yeah, it's, it's in that lower section, but how do I get down there? That's the question on everyone's mind, or at least mine anyway. You know, one thing that's kind of nice, like, you know, I have to play through every level with, like, the reverse brother that I didn't play the level with originally. But what's kind of nice is, again, I won't have to really worry about star coins at all during those playthroughs. So I can just literally just go through the levels. There's a lot less obstacles I'll have to avoid. And, like, having to play through the entire, like, normal section of the game with Luigi, who's already kind of confirmed to be, like, the better of the two brothers when it comes to jumping, definitely will make that go a lot faster, I think. Okay, well, I lost my Tanuki on the way back, which kind of sucks, but I found the Star Coin. We got our 200th Star Coin. That's a good feeling. That's a very, very good feeling. Uh, but we'll go ahead and do the next level. Um, yeah, we'll go ahead and do it. So we'll be kind of ahead of uh, where we need to be, but... And I feel like that was very breezy, so we'll do one more level to kind of make it a little more interesting. One, two, three, one, two, three. Oh. Jumped a bit too early. Hey, it's like those uh, levels and those beat em ups, like Double Dragon, where you have to do an elevator section. <laughs> That's what this reminds me of. give myself the boomerang flower. If we get, like, tougher opponents, I'll do that, but... For now, I kind of want to see what's in these boxes. Son of a gun. Wait, what's up here? There's, like, a box. Oh, hold on. Interesting. Ah, oh, come on! I had no idea that was coming. That's not fair. Yeah, maybe it is a little bit. star coin, but... and I missed. Not only did I miss the star coin, I just fell off completely. 
And I don't think there... Yeah, there was not even a uh, midpoint there. One, two, three. One, two, three. There we go. Okay, well, I'll be back to where I was, so hold on, folks. Okay, get rid of you guys. Let's get rid of you guys, too. That was the first, so I didn't miss anything. That's good. I guess they're going to be giving all the star coins at this point. And I lose. That's not a good time to lose that. In the last one's gotta be like up here. I, mean, I feel like it has to be up here because where else would it be? Hello. Okay, the most important part though. Thank God. Okay, well, after that level, that is probably going to have to be the ending. So, thank you for watching, everybody. I'll see you guys next time when we, uh, I guess, finish up the rest of World 4. And probably start working on World 5 as well. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys next time for a haunted house. Later, folks.